I'm CK. I've gotten a number of questions about things I use and how I get set up to work with various things I work with in the shop. So I figured I'd do a little series every now and again, highlighting some tools, some equipment I use to make my life easier, might give you some ideas on what you might want to do. Not the right way to do anything, not the wrong way to do anything, just here's what I use. Maybe you'll get some inspiration or say, eh, I see that, but I want to do something different. So today we're going to look at my audio cart. Hope you enjoy it. If you've watched some of my Eurorack module builds, you've seen this. This is my audio cart. Uh, I organize my style of work by carts. I find that fits my brain really well. You may want to do it some other way. This is a stainless steel cart I got from eBay. It's probably the most expensive part of this uh, rig. This is like $200 for the cart, maybe $150. Everything else is not as expensive. So we'll look at the front side first and we'll start at the bottom. That is a Celestron 6-inch uh, six speaker inside a enclosure I made from a Justin Winery wine box uh, and of course a pair of headphones. The next level, the next level has a small MIDI keyboard, a audio generator, and two interfaces for a digital audio workstation when I bring my MacBook out here and want to use that for uh, testing something. I've got a Focusrite Claret 2X and I've got a Behringer knockoff something or other. And then on the top shelf that's where we do most of the new stuff. I'm going to reposition the camera and guide you through some of this. We start with this. This is my Eurorack test rack. It's just made of wood. Two Eurorack rails that I nailed on and held on more securely with some tie wraps and a focus, I mean, frequency central route master power supply. So this is where I can test things, take them in and out really quickly and easily. It's not permanent, it's not meant to be. I can get at everything if I need to trim stuff up. It's all hanging up in the air, so I can get at it really easily. And that takes, uh, takes like 15, 20 minutes to make one of those. I actually probably should write a, or do a little video on that too just because. Here's my audio output. This is a Pile a stereo power amp. I find it compact and plenty of power and very low distortion. This was I think about 150 bucks on Amazon. Again that's the, that and the cart are the most expensive parts. This is a little audio generator. If I don't want to turn on the big one down there, this is a nice little waveform generator. Fits in the palm of your hand. Uh, easy to use. Uh, I got this from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description for this. The only problem with this is it doesn't have an on LED, so you can accidentally leave it on and run the battery down really quickly. And of course, one of the main things you need are you need screws to screw your Eurorack components in. I use Bifaco's Neurlies because they're not just screws, they're Neurly. They've got a, a extended head that you can really grip onto and take things in and out. If you see these, buy them because they go out of stock a lot. Uh, they're two different sizes, so make sure uh, they're 2.5 and 3s millimeters, so make sure you get the right size for the rails you're using in your rack. Uh, a random speaker with some cables on it, just in case I want to stick things, uh, stick a probe in somewhere. Now my power supply, which drives the uh, rack, I don't like to mess around with this. If you're 
developing something or working on something new uh, in your rack and your voltage starts to sag because you're not giving it enough, uh, you'll lose tuning, uh, timing, other things will go sideways. So I like to overpower, I like to have more power available than not. Uh, these route masters, you can run them on a uh, 12 volt DC, 1500 milliamp power supply most of the time. But if you plug in one too many thing and things start to sag and you start to hear uh, your, your oscillators detuning, it's just no fun. So instead of messing about with that, this is a AC to AC power adapter that I think is designed for outside uh, lighting and sprinkler systems. Uh, it takes 120 in at 60 hertz and it puts out 12 volts at 5 amps. So I've got 5 amps available here so I can run two or three of the route masters without worrying at all about uh, power sagging. So this costs like 10 bucks and there's lots of there's lots of different varieties so just pick the ones you want. Now another thing I do for organization and I'm gonna move the camera around again so back in a second. A critical component of all this of course is having enough cables at your hand to do whatever you need to do. So if you'll notice here on the hand, on the rails of the cart, these are shower curtain clips, something that you can buy in Target or any department store that wraps around a pole and you hang your shower curtain in there. Well, I put them on the cart and then I have all my cables nicely ready at hand. And going even further for the Eurorack patch cables, this is kind of cute. Let me see if we got that in frame well. I found this at Target as I was looking through the men's department. This is a tie and belt holder. But as you can see, it's also pretty awesome for holding patch cables. So be, be creative, look around. Things that you might not think would be any good to you, that's a really neat way to just keep my cables organized. And when I need one, I just slide it to this end, pull it out. This is one of the, my cables that I've got, uh, I can tap into to get a signal from. And then it slides in back in there, and because this is tapered, if things are at that end, it can't come out. So just really, really handy. And of course on the back of the cart is various power supplies and one button on and off for the whole rig. So that's it. Again, not nothing too fancy, but very functional. And it, you get what you're working on, how you're interacting with it with the keyboard or the sequencer in this case, sound output, cable organization, power, all in one place and you don't have to hunt. It can all be there. And then the other really fun aspect of it to me is when I'm not doing audio, if I'm doing uh, some other, if I'm doing some other type of work, I just take this one and drag it away. And maybe go do some woodworking, as you can see on the cart behind it. So that's all there is to my audio cart, but I wanted to share that, maybe give you some ideas or inspiration. That's CK's current audio cart. Hope you enjoyed taking a quick look at that to see what I am currently have on the cart, what might give you some inspiration for something you might want to put together to make your workflow a little better. Let me know if you had any, got any value out of this video. I've got some other parts of the workshop uh, studio that I want to share. And if you're interested, let me know. And if you're something in particular you wonder about for technique or what I use to do what, again, let me know in the comments. 
and I will address it in a future video. Thanks for watching.